In this video, I'm going to show how to change the supercharger oil on the M113K engine. This applies to all V8 compressor engines from AMG, including the E55 all the way to the G55. To do this job, you're going to need a 5mm hex bit and a 5mm ball allen wrench. You will also need a quarter inch drive ratcheting wrench and a roller wrench for tightening. You will also need some narrow Teflon tape. You're going to need an oil extractor or syringe to remove the oil with a 1 8 inch inside diameter, so 4 or 5 millimeter hose. You are also going to need some wire to insert inside the hose so that the hose is able to bend the right way. You are also going to need a separate syringe to put in the new oil into the supercharger. You will also need a small level. Finally, you will need 150 milliliters of mobile jet 2 oil. This is the factory spec oil according to Mercedes. Their own Mercedes branded compressor oil is only for their non-AMG applications with Roots type superchargers. The M113K twin screw supercharger gear set can spin at up to 23,000 RPM. So that's almost double of what a Root style supercharger can do. So the M113K engines need a special oil and Mobile Jet 2 is a special oil that is extremely durable in harsh conditions and is approved by aviation manufacturers such as Pratt & Whitney. This oil can be bought at any aviation parts retail stores online. To start the job, you want to pull off the front engine cover. You then want to place that level on top of the supercharger and jack up the rear of the car until the unit is level, or you can park it on an inclined driveway. To start, you remove the two hoses which are part of the secondary air injection system, and that allows for better access. They just slide out, you can pull them out by hand. Make sure the area of the engine is free from dust or major dirt before working. Next, you're gonna place a rag underneath the area where the access bolt is for the supercharger oil. You can also spray a bit of penetrating oil if you see that that supercharger bolt is rusted. Next, you will loosen the bolt with that five millimeter hex bit and the quarter inch drive ratcheting wrench. You can then move it with that ball Allen wrench the rest of the way. If you drop the screw, you'll have that rag there to catch it in case it falls. Once you have the bolt out, make sure to wipe the area if any of that Teflon tape is left behind. Next, you can set up your oil extractor and begin to suck out the oil. What you will need to do is have a wire inside your hose and bend it in the right direction to get into that valley of the supercharger and extract the oil correctly. The trick is to bend the wire in a configuration that will bend 2.5 inches down and curves towards the passenger side of the car, towards the center of the supercharger. You'll get the hose to the bottom of the reservoir at the center of the supercharger. The wire inside of the hose will then hold that bend. Once you play around with it and get the right bend to it, you will get all the fluid out. You can see the correct bend of the hose in this image, and I'll give credit where credit is due to Hans Hell and Harold Lapp for these images. They're from a German AMG forum. This technique that these guys show is great for pulling out the oil correctly. After extracting the oil for a good amount of time, I feel that I've got the right spot and I was able to suck out 135 milliliters total, including all of the oil that I've extracted into my reservoir, whatever was left in the hose, and whatever I got on the towel paper and my gloves. This sounds about the right amount to extract. My car has 99,000 kilometers or 62,000 miles and it's just over 15 years old. Now these superchargers come filled from the factory with a max fill of 155 milliliters of oil. The source that provides this level is the AMG Club of Germany that cites the manufacturer of the supercharger, which is IHI Industries. So to fill my supercharger, I will put 50 milliliters of Mobile Jet 2 three times with a syringe and a new piece of hose. So that totals to 150 milliliters. If you fill more than this, such as filling it to the level of the hole, the access hole, you could risk the oil seeping through the breather hole of the pulley bolt. The key to this job is getting everything out and putting the right amount in. Some posters on MB World that I've seen report only extracting 30 milliliters and filling something like 120 before the oil starts rushing out of the hole. This means that they didn't extract enough oil. But if you get the hose at the right angle, you will get the oil out. When putting the bolt back in, make sure to clean it 
and remove any of that old Teflon tape. Then wrap some new Teflon tape around the bolt. Inserting the bolt back into the supercharger is pretty tricky. To get the bolt started in this tight area, I used a roller ratchet, which allows me to keep the bolt spinning so that it goes on correctly without damaging the thread. Once the bolt is started, I can just speed things up and screw it the rest of the way with the ball Allen wrench. I then switch back to my quarter inch drive ratchet with the five millimeter bit and then tighten it hand tight. You don't want to put too much torque on this bolt. When it's all the way in, it will sit flush with the supercharger case. And then you're going to remove that rag that was under the bolt. After the bolt is in, you'll want to replace those hoses for the secondary air system. Then put back the engine cover and this job is done. Changing the supercharger oil is something that should be done, but only done once in a while. I recommend changing it every 60,000 miles. Thanks for watching. And if you like AMG videos like this, be sure to subscribe for more.